And you may already know how cancer is like excessive cell growth, and often these cells become damaged and they can't properly repair themselves, which leads them to more vulnerable pathways that are more cancer inducing. So if we can properly repair and grow our cells, then we're going to have a decreased risk of them becoming cancer over time. So polyphenols you may have heard of, they are found in things like berries, green tea. And the main job of polyphenols, which are like a type of antioxidant, is that they reduce inflammation and they can actually protect our DNA from any pro-oxidative damage. I just kind of get people to picture it like they got little ninjas that are the antioxidants and they have little ninja stars. And if there's any noxious pro-oxidative bubbles coming our way, then the ninja stars get thrown and pop them before they get any opportunity to hit the cells and cause some cancerous changes within them. The polyphenols, though, tend to have a greater impact on protecting DNA. Another family would be the flavanols and flavonoids. And typically these are found in onions, apples, citrus. There's a bunch of different foods that they're found in, but these foods are more known for their flavanols and flavonoids. Um, and basically how the flavanols, flavonoids work is they calm oxidative stress. Again, basically just working as an anti-inflammatory pathway and also regulate how our cells grow and repair. The other group that I want to talk about just briefly are the carotenoids. And these are basically the things in foods that are more orange or red or yellow. That would be the carotenoids that you're seeing because a lot of these phytonutrients are going to be what's giving a lot of the fruits and vegetables their color too. 